I did my schooling from Thane. Then my parents wanted me to go for a hostel experience, so I went to Pune and I did my B.Tech in Computer Science from MIT World Peace University. Welcome to Student Stories from Rocket Wars. Simran pursued her engineering from MIT World Peace University, Pune, and she is going to University of South California for MS in CS. Was study abroad always on the cards? So I had a younger uh, cousin brother who went to US and he told me all about you know the experience of US studying there working there and you know many uh, culture experiences that he had so that motivated me to go for studying in US I had always planned to go to study abroad but not exactly US but as he told me about how amazing it is then I decided to go for US What got you interested in tech So basically my family comes from a series of doctors so being a person in tech was very different my even my dad did not know much about tech so basically i uh, figured out that i like to you know uh, like tech technology ra- around me to invent something new to find out solutions to a problem so that's why it got uh, you know very i fo- uh, i basically got fond of tech technology any particular reason behind selecting usc this university admit was the last admit that i got out of all the colleges that i applied i was basically waiting for this university and i manifested it a lot so that the uh, one of the most important things that attracted me to this university was its curriculum because i already had uh, uh, many colleges which i got admit from but the curriculum which this had it had only one core curriculum so basically i had ample of uh, courses to choose from as well as it is in los angeles so i mean it just explains itself as well as uh, i am a professional swimmer uh, of 9 to 10 years so it had an amazing swimming team as well so it intrigued me and i'm planning to join that as well did you face any challenge in your journey i didn't face any challenges while applying but the decision part where the college decisions were coming out i think that was one of the most uh, toughest part in my life because as it started uh, the my course uh, computer science is a very competitive course and because uh, last two years was covid so many students were applying in this term so it was very competitive so after so 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 many rejects and you know keep uh, keeping hope my counselor sirin was really motivating me you know keep hope it's fine something good will happen and last i got this southern california so i was very happy but it was my toughest period of life i swear as a fresher how did you make your profile stand out to be honest i have a good gpa so and as well as i have a good experience in projects i had a research work I also had some sports uh, you know excellence so profile was not really a you know big thing for me How did Yoket Premium help you in your journey The cousin that I mentioned he told me about this Yoket Premium basically so um I had the best counselor okay Serene was by far the best counselor she always helped me around and Yoket really helped me uh, for you know selecting the colleges that uh, i needed to apply for as well as i i really think my sop really helped as they were really good editors who gave the edits on time before the deadline as well as they really uh, improved my language which i uh, put forward in my sops as well as uh, i think the yeah, majorly uh, college profile i think anything you would like to say to your family so i think my dad Okay, my, I'll give most credit to my dad. Whenever I just used to cry at night, like "nae ho raha hai, nae ho raha hai," he would be there, like "it's fine, something good will happen. Don't lose hope." He would always support me. Even my mom, she would just take me out to, you know, go for shopping or get something to eat, or she'll make something to make me feel happy. Even I had my friends supporting me, telling me that you have a good profile, you can do it. Don't lose hope. So I'll really thank my family. What will you miss the most? I'll miss the street food. Definitely the street food. I mean, I had some amazing street food in Pune, 
and it's like it's very cheap you know and everything when you go there in the US everything is costly i just miss the street food here any advice to aspirants in terms of exam preparations for uh, GRE i would say 2 months would be sufficient work for it if, if you have a low gpa uh, your GRE score if you have a, uh, also if you have a good GRE score your profile would really shine and if you're you have a good profile uh, even a decent GRE would be okay any words of wisdom for study abroad aspirants in general i would definitely say go for it okay go for whatever university that you're planning to uh do as many research as possible you know it really helps research and internships as well as uh keep a good confidence just don't uh, aim low because it happens that even your ambitious colleges would accept you even like southern california was an ambitious college for me but i kept hope and i kept my confidence and i worked towards it so i feel that keep your ambitious college Check out Yoket Connect to connect with seven lakh plus students like Simran.